how to remove noise within an image and as you can see up on the right hand side this image was taken at ISO 2000 which is fairly grainy for my D600 and there's going to be noise there so if I zoom in and we'll show you closer later you'll be able to see lots of grains and stuff but I think one of the first steps to take in camera is before you take the photo is actually exposed to the right so if we expose to the left we're going to have a lot more like this histogram showing a lot more noise in the image than we would if the histogram was exposed to the right which actually captures a lot more detail than all the way down here so if I just reset this um, I press the alt key, hold down the alt key click on reset time and there so I've actually exposed to the right for this image and if I expose to the left it would be a lot more grainy so I'll just undo that and go back to the settings that we like um, so the next thing we're going to do on the right hand side come all the way down to here detail we'll click on that um, as you see in the detail we've got a preview box we've got our sharpening and noise reduction so these first three here apply to luminance noise reduction and the next three here apply to color uh, noise reduction so first of all let's zoom it into 100% as you can see maybe 100% is not big enough or as one as the two so maybe that's 50% I'm going to change this to three is to one just so we can zoom right in and see what's happening and see how much noise is in the image it's a bit crazy all right first step is come over to luminance so let's click and drag luminance up and down and if you leave it a bit you can actually see the changes take effect um, if we hold down the alt key it gives us a more accurate view and puts the image in black and white so we can see what the noise is really doing so sometimes you have to drag it and just wait a little bit to see what happens so I think any more than that like if I take it right up to 85 it's too much you're going to lose a lot of detail so I'm liking around the 35 36 mark so I'll let that go um, the detail so this is more detail less detail um, so if we drag it all the way to the right it's actually showing more detail in the image than if we drag it to the left so it's bringing back the details but the thing it does is actually brings back in more noise and the same again hold down the alt key or the option key on the Mac and drag, I just drag all the way to the right leave it for a second and all the way left just to see there's actually not too much difference in contrast so it probably doesn't matter where we put that one all right so our next bit is color so we don't need to hold down the option for color because we want to see the difference in color noise the default settings are 25 50 50 so again I'm just going to drag it to the right and see if it takes out any color noise and drag it all the way to the left and you can actually see quite a difference in the color noise so it's actually a lot smoother when we bring the color noise up above like 50 or a defaults 25 but when you go up above 50 it's starting to remove that noise and then we do the same with detail so do we want more detail in the color noise or less um, when you go less it starts to give this horrible like I'm not really sure like watered look it looks horrible so let's just go up here it doesn't matter if some images are a bit grainy I think it adds to the character and of course smoothness so all the way up uh, gets smoother and all the way down is less smoother it actually looks better all the way down so they're pretty much just your noise reduction settings um, and you can see the difference up here so I'll click before oops there we go so there's before and there's after I mean we might, might want to play around with it a bit because we look at it here well, how big we're going to print it it might be like more too much detail or too too little of detail but this is actually looking not too bad I'd probably reduce it I think just a little bit just to make it uh, look good so the other options you have to remove noise is you can use the brush tool and we can let's say paint an area and down here we've got remove noise um, sometimes we can remove a little bit of sharpening and clarity just so there's not so much noise as well because that accentuates it but I don't think this tool is as effective as doing a global adjustment as we did down here in the other settings 
whereas this is more of a local adjustment. Uh, so you're probably better off, so let's just turn that off, you're doing the global adjustment here in the detail panel, exporting that file to Photoshop, then just taking out the noise reduction and let's say you've got the sky which is nice and the, the dark background, then you just blend them in Photoshop. But that's a quick and easy in Lightroom. Um, if you need any other more details, you can probably go to Photoshop and use Google's uh, Nick Effects and um, their Sharpen tools and their Noise tools, and I think they're pretty good. But I I don't use those much. But all right, we'll see you later, guys. This should work well.